Death is a simple fact of life. Most of us assume that family or friends will lay us to rest, but that is not the case for hundreds of Hoosiers that go unclaimed. Tonight, our 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman discovered here in Marion County, the number of people without family or friends able or willing to claim them nearly doubled. She learned strangers are now stepping in and carrying them to their final resting place. 173 names. Maria Zuniga. 173 souls finally laid to rest in Marion County. They died over a 13 year period, unclaimed for years, now finally laid to rest during a special ceremony. Larry Lineback. One of these bags contains the ashes of Larry Lineback. He drank himself to death, but he had a good time doing it. Dale Greeson came to honor his friend. He suspects there is no family to take care of arrangements. Manly Wright. Stacy Brake also attended to remember her classmate, Manly Wright. That would be him right there. They were both part of Carmel High School's class of 79. I mean, I remember him. I just can't claim that I was friends with him. While Manly and others are never claimed, some are. Over in Hamilton County, sisters Deborah Denny and Denise Stafford died in 2012. When were the remains finally claimed? December of last year. Deputy Coroner Ashley Taylor found a family friend willing to spread their ashes. She spends weeks, months, even years searching on behalf of the unclaimed. Coroner Jeff Jellison says that's important. These are people and they don't deserve to sit on a shelf. But many do. In Marion County, there are dozens each year. 81 just in 2021, nearly double the previous year. Is this an issue for funeral directors here in Indiana? We're seeing it grow. The state's Funeral Directors Association says there are hundreds of unclaimed remains at funeral homes. Andy Clayton blames a changing culture. We've just seen people not want to um, take the responsibility of caring for the remains. Sometimes the decedent has burn their bridges with their loved one. Nicole Field says there's several abandoned remains behind these doors here at Dixon Memorial Chapel. Family strife, apathy, but also money lead to people going unclaimed. The coroner's office says unclaimed does not always mean unwanted. Sometimes people just don't have families or their families don't have the resources. Help is available for people who qualify. Statewide, township trustees distribute about $2 million in funeral assistance a year. State and federal money can help veterans and Medicaid recipients. It doesn't cover all costs, but funeral homes still work with families. It's just the right thing to do. That's also why some unclaimed end up here at Sutherland Park Cemetery in Indianapolis. Right through here, there's about 20 of them right in here in one of those big vaults. Kim Massey says the remains are put into a cement vault, recorded and buried in an unmarked grave. If someone were to come and say, where's Uncle Joe, we know exactly where he is. It's a more lonelier world than people really even imagine. John McLean. Since no one's tracking, we may never know how many unclaimed remains are in graves, on shelves, or laid to rest like this. Sierra, why don't we know how many unclaimed remains there are? Because they're in a couple of different places. Now, we tried to get the number by reaching out to every coroner's office in Indiana. Some, like Marion County, have several unclaimed remains a year. Other smaller counties report zero or just a couple a year. And others don't keep records mm. of unclaimed remains. Really interesting story. Sierra Putman tonight. Thanks. Thank you.